Welcome back. Let's get you this week's smart property advice. If you're stuck in a dispute with your developer or lender, then your legal options obviously involve going to the judiciary to seek justice. But to the common man, it seems like a daunting task. Are consumer courts your best bet or will civil courts give you your rights? Here's what you should know. To approach any court, the buyer must firstly notify the builder about his grievance. If the builder ignores the notice, the document can be later used as evidence. Consumer courts in the country exist at the national, state and district level, governed by the Consumer Protection Act of 1986. The District Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission handles cases where the compensation sought is above 20 lakhs. The State Commission takes cases from 20 lakhs to 1 crore and the National Commission handles cases above a crore. The complaint can simply be detailed on paper and sent via post to the concerned consumer court and the complainant can fight his case himself without hiring a lawyer. If a consumer is not satisfied with the outcome, he can appeal higher up to the state and national levels. Consumer courts, however, only admit cases that pertain to personal residential property and not commercial property. A case must be filed within two years of the dispute arising with the builder. All kinds of complaints dealing with default on construction agreements are taken up. But complaints regarding delays in possession are covered by civil courts instead of consumer courts. However, you can move a consumer court if the developer fails to pay you compensation charges for delay in construction. Payment receipts or any proof of payment or communication is crucial evidence which must be retained. In case of a consumer court, the matter takes about three to four years. Civil suits, on the other hand, require the full services of a lawyer and also cost more. Like consumer courts, the two-year limitation period applies to civil suits also. But there is no restriction on the types of complaints that come under its purview. Civil court cases can take up to seven to eight to ten years because of the huge pendency of matters before the courts. There's been so much discussion about the need to provide good quality real estate for retirement living. Now, Coimbatore is one such market with a huge potential for senior citizen homes. But Chut Sane discovers that the key to making it work lies in just keeping it simple. Take a look. In the last 10 years, Coimbatore has exploited its geographical advantage to emerge as the ideal retirement destination a period that has seen the launch of many retirement communities. Realty companies like Ananya Shelters, Serene Retirement and Srivatsa Real Estate have launched medium-sized projects across price points in the last five years. And these have only underlined the immense potential for retirement communities. Almost all the trains pass through here. So people who have retired from any other place in India who have gone from the south, southern side, that is, you know, okay, Karnataka or uh, Tamil Nadu or Palka, I mean, Kerala and all that, they would prefer to be here because, you know, it is neither a big uh, city, a cosmopolitan city like Chennai or, you know, Bombay. It is, you know, the population is very much controlled. In 2010, when Anand Padmanabhan took over as the CEO of Serene Retirement, his first mission was to exploit the potential for integrated retirement living, an aim that became apparent in the company's recent projects. Taking us on a tour of Serene's next project, Anand tells us that the secret to executing effective real estate is to keep it simple. Seniors are as good as uh, any one of us. Uh, their needs are uh, diverse. There is, uh, someone is looking for a, a small house, someone is looking for a larger house, someone prefers a multi-story apartment, someone prefers an independent house with a nice garden around it. So the, there are diverse needs seniors have got. What is needed is all these houses have something in common. They are their senior friendliness in terms of safety features, in terms of uh, the other uh, facilities what a senior life needs. And these quote-unquote other facilities include recreational rooms, community dining and a medical centre. Facilities that have set the benchmark for what a retirement community ought to have. Today, the project's residents couldn't have asked for more. Retirement, they say, is a lot more than spending your years in a two-bedroom apartment. 
Wing Commander Mahalingam, a war veteran and a resident at the community, couldn't agree more. The main advantage is uh, we overcome all the day-to-day -day hassles. Like, you know, our uh, tap is not working, our uh, light point is not working. We don't have to run around for a plumber, we don't have to run around for an electrician. And also, most of the time, when we talk about retirement, we talk about individuals, the men folks. We ignore the women folk. At the end of the day, I think they also take, uh, they need to have some retirement from uh, the kitchen. But for a relatively new market, retirement communities continue to have unbelievable potential for growth. And with this transition all set to take place in the next five years, retirement communities could soon wear a new look. And with it, a whole new market. In Coimbatore with camera person Sukumar, Jude Sanat, NDTV. If every month your electricity and water bill is burning a hole in your pocket, then it's time to bring about a change in your home. Today we have the head of the Bureau of Energy Efficiency or BEE to advise you on the substantial energy savings you can clock in with these best practices. Listen in. The largest amount of electricity that you use, that you pay for, is used by air conditioners and next by fans and lights. It makes great sense for you to see if you should change these to more efficient ones. If you've got an air conditioner which is more than, say, seven, eight years old, it probably makes great sense to go in for a three or four, or if you use your AC for a very long period of time, a five-star AC. The additional costs will pay for themselves. Second, look at the fan in your house. It would be using at least 70 watts of electricity, if not more buy an energy efficient fan and the soon to come into the market super efficient fans, the super efficient fans would use 35 watts. It makes sense to buy air conditioners which are inverter based. These are very expensive. However, they track the outside temperature and therefore are constantly at peak efficiency. They pay back in about three to four years. The good thing about them is that you immediately start seeing a reduction in your energy bills. This is as far as buying appliances is concerned. Use them carefully. It's common sense, uh, unfortunately often forgotten. Do switch off things like televisions when you are done at the end of the day from the main switch. We have huge amount of voltage stabilizers, remotes, the set-top boxes. All of these keep on using electricity even when you are not using the television or even when you are not using the air conditioner. Avoid paying for this vampire power. Also try to see how can you be comfortable with your air conditioners. Maybe you switch them on, switch them off after an hour. Maybe if you have got an air conditioner which has got the kind of programming, play around with it. Try to find the one that suits you and at the same time does, ensures that the air, con air conditioner is not on all the time. These are simple things. The key issue is we need to get used to practicing them all the time. What we do is we maintain on our website a list of all the appliances which are rated in various star categories. What we also do is that we go out into the market, buy products and send them for testing to independent labs. If they fail a test, we go out and buy more, get a test done again. If they fail the test a second time, then we take action against them and it is important that you and I as consumers also know about it, so we publish it in the newspapers as well. We believe that this creates the credibility both amongst users as well as amongst manufacturers, that this is a system which you can use. So visit our website and buy efficient products. If you liked today's edition, then write to us at hotproperty at ndtv.com with your feedback or questions. We're going to get you more hot properties and locations and hot decor trends every Saturday and Sunday on NDTV Prime. I'll see you next week. Until then, goodbye.